Coming back this way, Davis, a little indecisive, out to Collins. Final minute of the first quarter. Collins lays it up, and the foul. An aggressive first quarter. I think they're really excited for this rematch, and of course, LSU playing at home in Baton Rouge, that place is going to be packed. LSU also has a little chip on their shoulder, having lost early, so it's going to be a good one. Late in the first half. An excellent help side defense down there by Stevenson. It made Cochran pull up and take an off-balance jumper. That's a smart pull up. Collins sticks it. And the foul. So she scored 19 a game last year, James Madison. And, you know, a high score for several years. Back to the rim again. Count it. And the foul. Jefferson has ignited. Just for a second, shaded towards Sydney Taylor. You see number two there for Ole Miss. She's shaded toward the corner. Ole Miss quickly the other way. Collins into the paint. That's good, and the foul. Going back to the line for another three-point play. It's a top 25 battle. As this challenge on the women's side is just getting started, Curry wide open three, drills it. Nevertheless, let's see what Ole Miss has here. Collins, corner three, that's pure. Back to a four-point game. Cochran plans the attack, turns, fall away. Rebound down to Davis. She likes to push. Marquisha Davis, the step through, got it! And the foul! Is draining, Ricards to Cochran, puts it up. Rebound down to Ricards. Taylor, shot fake, puts it up, and through. Sydney Taylor with a clutch triple. Uh, draws the foul on Harris. And threes are hard to come by in this game. As the clock starts to drain, and this one's going to go down as a Louisville win. And part of the not fouling is because Louisville shoots 80% from the free throw line. Who are you going to foul in that situation?